spend it, spend it, spend it. That should never last. Yeah. If I end up in the cast, yeah. I'ma do it that yeah. All design a fact. Yeah. Dying to live life. Yeah. I know I can go. Yeah. Spend it. Now, the next matchup we're gonna talk about today. That I just got down got got done watching. Whew. This might be the most exciting series of these playoffs. Phoenix Suns versus the L LA Clippers. And it was a thriller, y'all. It was an absolute thriller. It went down to the wire. We got to see the Kawhi versus KD duel that we've been looking for for years. Since 2019 when KD got hurt. This was amazing game. And this is what we're going to be talking about. How the LA Clippers won this game. And how this series will go seven. So, we'll see what happens. What's good, y'all? It's your boy. We'll be back again with another video. We're going to break out. We're going to break down this whole game. Okay. This, again, this is another game I didn't even watch the first half. I just, you know, looked at the highlights and see what's going on. We're going to talk about Russell Westbrook. Good and bad. It's going to be more good later on. We're going to be talking about Devin Booker. A lot of good in Devin Booker in this game. I really was impressed. KD was doing KD things. But the bad. Chris Paul. Now, listen. Chris Paul did his thing for his, what he's usually known for doing. is passing the ball. Making teammates around him better. Controlling the pace of the game. He's amazing at doing that. Controlling the pace of the game. <laughs> and keeping the team in there. And, you know, keeping the team in the game for, for the full quarters. Right. Right? But there was a lot of shots that Chris Paul that, let's be honest. He's not the same shooter. He's not the same player that he used to be. He's taking, he's, he's. One thing I do not like about Chris Paul's game, and a lot of people don't like about it, he manipulates his opponents so much for the same exact move. Where the move I'm talking about, he will back down your defender. I'm gonna stand up for this. He will back down your defender like this, and then do a fadeaway, and every time and, and try to make it. And usually back then he would make it all the time, right? Now he's not making it. I seen it every time in the fourth quarter. This this the game. He was missing it every time, and he kept trying to go to it, and was not working in his favor. So the other move while I'm talking about that he was he was still trying to do it was basically the same thing, where he would back down the defender, and then try to pump fake, and not even shoot the ball. He would pass it to the, the other the other teammate still wasn't working and he was making countless turnovers yes he was trying to get to the free throw line but he was he kept getting he kept getting frustrated by the non-calls that was happening of course there's gonna be some non-calls in the game that's a playoff game this is not the regular season no more I'm sorry Chris Paul this is this is the playoffs stop complaining because none of these calls are going your way because you keep doing the same damn move every time and it's not working no more it's not. Stop it. You're not that guy no more. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. You're CP3 playmaking. You're him for that. But as for still manipulating the game and still making the fadeaways, it was not going. It was not. It was not putting the buck in the night. And this is where we come to Russell Westbrook. A player that was shooting horribly all night. And I'm not going to lie. I was criticizing him. But I was also praising him for his hustle. And I'm going to praise him. He deserved all his flowers tonight. Russell. A player that you shot 3 for 19 in this game. Nobody cares. I don't care no more. I don't give a damn. Yo, hustle this game. This might have been the best 3-for-19 three, three performance I've ever seen in my life. Look, real talk. 
Your hustle, your tenacity, your energy, and your defense was amazing down the stretch. I'm talking about top tier. It didn't matter what what kind of shot you was doing. You was you was hustling back and forth from the court. You was you was getting in KD's head. You was tripping the ball from KD. I we love to see that matchup because because we know what kind of history y'all have. We love to see that. And was, you was doing this all game, not just in the second half, not just in the fourth quarter when you, and not just in the last couple last couple of seconds when you 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 blocked Devin Booker shot and you threw it off him for the win, for the win. This is where you actually you're the MVP of this game. You won this game. You you not only you was rebounding. Second chance, you was on the glass like a beast tonight. Not only you was doing that, that foul that Devin Booker that when Devin Booker fired you, when you were trying to do that fadeaway shot. You're sixty six percent from the free throw line this year, right? Correct. Not only you not down the first one, you not down both. I was like, I, I'm gonna shut up. You prove. That this is the team for you. If you playing like this, I don't give a I don't give a damn what you shoot for. You can shoot three for thirty. If you hustling like this, y'all win this series. Y'all win this series. Because I don't think Devin Booker could play any kind of defense that he was playing tonight any better. Devin Booker was playing the best defense I ever seen him play in my life tonight. Well, he got five steals and five blocks. KD was doing KD things. He was facilitating. He was being the playmaker of this team. And down the stretch, he was making some big shots. But the problem that the Phoenix Suns and, you know, obviously, Doug Williams is a great coach, okay? Why take the ball out of KD's hands in the last couple of minutes? Last minute. Why do that? I get it. You have Devin Booker. You have Chris Paul. Get the damn ball to KD. Y'all got him for a reason. This is Kevin Durant. Devin Booker should not have the ball in his hands down the last couple of seconds. I'm sorry. Give the damn ball to KD. He's a superstar on that team. He should be the one dribbling up, dribbling up to the goal, or at least taking a shot. And Kawhi Leonard. Playoff Kawhi has arrived. Y'all must have forgot what he did in 2019. Y'all must have forgot how he was on the San Antonio Spurs and playoffs. Y'all must have forgot that guy that won the championship versus Golden State Warriors. Yes, it was without KD. I get that. But they still won in his games. He was still that dude. Y'all must have forgot the same player uh, the same year took out a young, a young Giannis. Not only took him out, won four straight after they lost, after they was down 2-0 in the series. Kawhi Leonard is him in the playoffs. He's him. Last couple of games, he's been averaging 30. Well, he dropped 38 tonight. And it was it was a, a, a an elite 38 because it was versus Kevin Durant, who's guarding him. That duel back and forth in the last couple of seconds, not last couple of seconds, last couple of minutes of this game was amazing. That was something to behold. This is why this series is going to be the most exciting series to watch because I believe Phoenix Suns are going to come back and win game two. I do. I believe they're going to get the ball to Kevin Durant. They're going to put it in his hands and he's going to drop 40. He's going to drop 40. Devin Buck is going to have like a cool 25 30. Chris Paul is going to have a cool five, six points, about 13 assists. I ain't going to lie. Chris Paul, you better step up. Because if you let Russell Westbrook outplay you in the series, and that's that, that's not downgrading Russell Westbrook because I believe he actually is going to outplay you. I'm telling you, y'all, might, y'all probably going to lose again. The Clippers are for real. And they, all, they only have Paul George. Phoenix, y'all might be in trouble. Y'all better make some adjustments. That's all I'm going to say. Yep. And that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. 
I'm going to be dropping all these playoff game reactions and commentary. So if y'all enjoyed, again, share this video to your fans and family out there. Give you both a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'm out, y'all.